Hi guys, we're still talking sardine run, and for us as anglers, chasing the sardines, catching those big sharks that swim with the sardines is the ultimate test of our tackle and skill. So when you go down to the beach and the guys are netting sardines, there's a lot of chum in the water, a lot of smell in the water, those big 150 plus kilo sharks come right to the shore, and that's when we want to lobber bait at them and catch them and really enjoy ourselves. So obviously the best bait to cast for those sharks when they're right here close to your feet is just one whole sardine or even two if you can hook it onto one hook, just lob it in front of the shark and they normally eat it. But sometimes it gets a bit more complicated. Um, we have to actually put a big bait out and wait for the sharks to come past when it's not that busy, there's an odd shark around. That's when you want to make a nicer bait with some smell and a bit bigger to attract the fish to your bait. So what we're going to do is we're going to take four or five sardines bundle them together for this specific bait and the purpose of this bait is to attract the shark towards your bait. So this specific bait is for when it's not that wild, the action's passed, this, they netted the morning, the sharks are there, it's maybe the afternoon now, there's no more sardines but those sharks are still in the area and you want to present a bait to them that will attract them towards your bait. So basically it's a bigger, smellier bait that you put in the right zone and stand and wait for the big shark to come. Okay, so. We've got our fresh sardines here, and the first thing I'm going to do is just cut all these little tails off. Just don't like them in my bait. You can leave them on if you want to, but I personally don't like them, so I always cut them off. Turn out the way. So we have four sardines, and we're going to keep the biggest one for our base, and the rest of them are literally just cutting off like this. Don't worry too much if the heads break apart. It's all about that smell coming out of there and the flavour. Okay, so we've got all those half sardines. Take our base, and I'll grab my half sardines and just start cutting them on. All you do is just stack them like that. And I said the whole idea about this bait is a bigger, bulkier bait to attract that one or two fish that's in the air towards your bait. That's the last one. I right, think you've got cotton it on nice and tight. As usual, I shape it and squash it with my hands, get the shape I want, and do those tails. All right, so let's finish off cutting this whole lot together. Tails. And really doesn't have to be an attractive bait because it's this is more about smell and size. Alright, so that is a bait there, and you can build it as big as you want. If you want to make it double the size, just keep on adding to this. This is sort of just an idea of how the bait looks. It's a lot of smell in it all that fresh sardine oil coming out it's going to attract the fish all right guys so then obviously now it's a simple process of just putting a hook through the bait so i always like to put it through that base sardines head so i just find that sardine at the bottom there 
push it through like it and then I'll fill my cotton attached so I'll just wind it around the shank a bit and that's to ensure that the bait doesn't fall off when you're casting and then a few half inches finish it off if you want to and you worry that the bait's heavy and it's going to fall off I always just take a little cable tie and I put that around the head of the bait like that pull it nice and tight and I just cut that off like I said there we go that's a little sardine bomb bait you can call it wrapping a bunch of sardines together cast it out there and you're targeting your big sharks if you like to fish your double hooks you can obviously have a, a J hook through the top lip like this and you can have another J hook on the tray sitting over there if that's the way you like to fish your sharks that works well as well but for us with the circle hooks it works like a bomb just like that